We're in Ashburnham, Massachusetts. We are looking at the Frederick Collection of Historical Grand Pianos. We don't call it a museum. Museums are to look at things. And this is for listening and playing. It's a living piece of history. It is the only collection of its kind in the country. Two dozen vintage grand pianos dating back to the late 1700s. And Patricia and Michael Frederick are eager to share their collection with any who care to play along. I don't find pianos very interesting as pieces of furniture. Musically, they can be very interesting and exciting and all sorts of good things, but just staring at big lumps of something or other, uh -uh. Musicians from around the world make the pilgrimage to Ashburnham, eager to hear what the music of Beethoven or Chopin, for example, sounds like on an instrument the composer himself might have used. If you play the music on the wrong instrument, it's like something that's been translated rather badly out of the original language, and it loses in the translation. The collection is housed in Ashburnham's former library. Before that, the pianos were shoehorned into the Fredericks' home, along with a growing family. As for the collection's remote location in the Monadnock foothills, it goes a long way towards separating the casual from the committed. That means that anybody who bothers to come out to Ashburnham uh, really is serious. The idea of sharing would seem to go right to the heart of the collecting impulse, from playing Schubert on a vintage Bosendorfer to making brain tissue available to researchers. Even burnt food can become a form of communion. And I mostly love the connection that it brings. When people see something like that, they're like, oh my god, I did something like that. Or, or, or like you said, my wife. Oh, sorry. No, no, no. She's kidding. <laughs> That's very funny, Deborah. <laughs> I mean, the CEO of a corporation and the janitor could get along perfectly if they both collect Hot Wheels. It makes a unified world. Collecting and connecting, you do it too. And several times a year, the Frederick Collection presents professional pianists in concert. Definitely worth the drive. Really a great event. Finally tonight, we are revisiting what we call moments of then in advance of our 30th anniversary show later this month.